Hun Min Sung's father has always been tough on his son. He forbids him from marrying and having children. He made him train for hours and hours when he was a kid. But he also loves Hun Min and made him the superstar he is today. A father and son bond is sometimes complicated, but it's also priceless, incomparable, and family at the end of the day is what matters the most. Here is Hun Min Sun's incredible and complex relationship with his father, Woon Jung. Sunning Min was 18 years old when the internet welcomed the high expectations Asian father meme in 2010. And expectations from the Korean were already getting higher by the day back then. The very same year, in a preseason friendly against Chelsea, he had come on as a substitute for Hamburg, replacing Ruud van Nistelrooy. With three minutes to the final whistle, the kid wearing number 40 took on the veteran Portuguese Ricardo Carvalho inside the box and took a perfect left-footed shot to score the winning goal. Now, thanks to a combined goal and assist count of over 100 for the Spurs, we know how capable Sonny is with both feet. But back then, everyone was surprised as this was supposed to be his weak foot. For people who knew him and his father, though, there was nothing to be stupefied. Because for sons, there wasn't such a thing as a weak foot. There was only a foot not trained enough. Suning Min was born on 8 July 1992 in Suncheon, South Korea. As soon as he learned how to walk, he started playing football just like his big brother. That was only expected of the boys, as kicking a ball was pretty much running in their DNA. Their father, Sun Wung Jung, was a pro himself. Not anywhere near Sunny's standards, though. Dad's son played for three different clubs in his short five-year career and retired with only seven goals to his name in over 35 matches. Come on, Pops! Your son's son can do that in, what, three weeks in the Premier League? So you have every right to believe that it wasn't his father who inspired Son Aldo, but you couldn't be more wrong about that. After his retirement, Sun Woon Jung had promised himself that if his boys ever wanted to play football professionally, he was going to do everything in his power to give them better opportunities and help them avoid the pitfalls he encountered. Hoon Min was in the third grade in elementary school when he first talked to his father about becoming a footballer. Dad's response was a life lesson, which Hoon Min remembers to this day. It will be tough. Do you really want to do it? Asked the retired pro. Time and again, the same question got a resounding yes from the kid. So whenever he was complaining about training, saying he was tired, his father reminded him of the same thing. You wanted to play. My father's words were true. I couldn't complain about training because he was right. I was the one who wanted to play. There's no other way to put it. Training is hard, especially for young kids with lots of distractions around them. And if you think Sonny got off easy because he was talented from an early age, that only means you don't know his father. As it's probably the case with every five-star weak foot player out there, Daddy made Son go through some dark times as a kid. Father was a strict teacher. He would punish me or yell at me if I've done wrong. But now I'm thinking back and I have to admit that that strictness had a strong influence on me. Sonny is as lovely as ever, and he's not going to let anyone talk ill of his father. But some of the training he had to go through was, well, let's not say child abuse, but pretty darn close. Son and his brother were finishing every training session with their father in a 40-minute kick-up session. And each time the boys lost control of the ball, the cycle would restart from the first minute. But this was child's play compared to other drills, one of which consisted of four hours of kickups. After two hours, you see the floor like a roller coaster. There's one ball, but you see three of them. Yeah, I have crazy, crazy memories. His father was putting so much emphasis on being good with both feet, and he had it all thought out. He even encouraged Sonaldo to wear his left socks and shoes and the left side of his pants first, just to make him more comfortable on his weak side. And when it was time to practice finishing, it was full-on machine mode. Sun would take 500 shots with both feet from five different spots in the box. Well, we guess for being a crazy good player, you have to train in a crazy way. Of course, Sun Wung Jung wasn't just trying to make life a misery for his son. His intentions were purely focused on unlocking his potential and helping him reach and go beyond it. He was so keen on his kid's upbringing in football, he didn't let them go to a football school until a relatively late age. The fact that I was able to teach my son with my own hands and not with others, I really felt happy and lucky for that. Where other kids were playing to win at all costs, playing games of 11 against 11, sons were in their backyard, training on the fundamentals of the game. This wasn't a childhood dedicated to learning only football, though. When Sun was still a kid, Sun Moon Jung was reading 100 books a year and making a selection of 30 for Suning Min. 
with excerpts and underlined parts in each of them. You have to hand it to Pop soon. The man did everything he could to make his kids stand out. Okay, his ways may be a bit controversial, especially for people from different cultures, but it's pretty obvious that it was for the greater good. As Hun Min got better and better thanks to his father, bigger opportunities showed up. The biggest and most important one was joining Hamburg's Youth Academy. 16-year-old Hun Min was going away, leaving his country. But Woon Jung wasn't going to leave his son all alone. He checked into a cheap motel in front of the academy, and he was waking his son up earlier than any other player in the academy, for all the right reasons, as always. I stayed in a cheap motel across the academy and would wake him up early in the morning for weight training before he left for team practice. You know what? As Ron Burgundy would say, we're not even mad. That's amazing. Hoon Min's way to pro level was smoother than most, all thanks to countless hours they spent on the fundamentals of the game with his father, as all the hard work started paying off. First Germany, then the whole world took notice. After going through different stages of Hamburg's youth teams, he made his Bundesliga debut and never looked back after. First stop was Bayer Leverkusen in 2013. Then came the Spurs with a deal that turned him into the most valuable Asian player in history. And while all this happened, Sun's relationship with his family, especially with his coach and father, never changed. When his deal was finalized, his parents decided to move in together to London, just to make sure the kid was always going to stay on track. Till this day, Woon Jung prepares Hoon Min before every workout, makes sure he gets his rest after each workout, and helps him wear his ice pack trousers. And just like in the old days, the duo have private one-on-one -on -one training sessions, apart from the intense team sessions Hoon Min has. The whole world was shocked when Hoon Min said his father wouldn't let him get married or have children, since it would hinder his career. But for the little kid who looked up to his father all those years and saw how his methods worked out just fine, this was just another drill. My father says this, and I agree. When you marry, the number one will be family, wife, and kids, and then football. I want to make sure that while I play at the top level, football can be number one. No wonder why he's just laughing when people ask him if his upbringing was difficult or if he had any regrets regarding his childhood. Always. My answer is the same for this whenever, wherever. My father is my soccer senior, soccer friend, soccer teacher, a really good father, and the one whose everything is perfect for me. Guys and girls, it's time to wrap up this episode before we start crying. What the sons have built through the years is a phenomenal relationship, with particular cultural nuances that may not make sense for everyone in the world, but maybe it's exactly why it's intriguing. In the end, it's good for us football fans. We get to enjoy a fantastic player who makes people happy with everything he does on and off the pitch. Not only his fans, but a whole nation at that. The series will continue with other top talents and their special relationships with their father. Until the next episode, you might want to check out this video where we talked about players who consider their coaches as a father. Thanks for watching and long live football.